Tablas Creek Vineyard is a unique project forged in the late 80s with the belief that Rhone varieties could flourish in California's Mediterranean climate. Decades later, the fusion of the pioneering American Haas family with the traditional centuries-old French techniques of the family Perenne has spawned a wildly successful, sustainably focused winery. We speak with second-generation Jason Haas for more on the story in Paso Robles. Well, Jason, thanks for joining us today on Gizmondi on Wine. We're excited to talk about a different region from California, releasing wines in the, uh, the premium wine release in BCL stores later in May. Uh, let's start with your location and, and where you are. Sure. Uh, welcome, Tony, and, and viewers to Paso Robles, California. Uh, for the people who don't know, we're in the Central Coast, almost exactly dead center between Los Angeles and San Francisco. A um, couple hours south of Monterey, a couple hours north of Santa Barbara, and separated from the Pacific Ocean by one range of mountains. So as I sit here at 1,500 feet elevation, we're only 10 miles from the Pacific. And Cabernet and Chardonnay are not really the focus uh, at Tablas Creek. Tell us about the focus. <laughs> Not at all. So we are one of the pioneers of the California Rhone movement. Uh, we're co-founded by the Perrin family of Chateau de Beaucastel in Chateau neuf du Pape. And yeah. the first thing that we did in 1989 when we got started was import cuttings of all of the principal grapes from the estate of Beaucastel. So grapes like Morvedra and Grenache and Syrah and Roussan and Marsan and Viognier. Which leads us to the wines that we're going to talk about today. So I want to talk about these two Esprit de Tablas wines uh, what, what's the genesis and where are you at with these wines now? They've been going for a while. They have. Um, we're now two decades into both of these wines. Um, they are the wines that we make in homage, in, in honor of our co-founders at Bocastel. So there are our flagships, our pick of the, the top 15% of what comes into the cellar, and they're both Rhone blends. So the white is a blend of Roussan and Grenache Blanc and Picpoul mostly. The, the red is Morvedra-based with Grenache and Syrah and Cunoise. So if, if you're in the store while they're for sale now and, and somebody was looking at your bottles and we, we managed to open those corks, what would we find when we, we get into these two wines and taste them? So the white really shows the signature of Roussan. So that means like honey and herbs and rich texture, brightened by the higher acid varieties. The Grenache Blanc and the Picpoul is going to make it a little more tropical and a little bit of aromatic lift. Um, the red, the Morvedra is really going to drive the experience. So that kind of dark red fruit and leather and chocolate and earth. Um, and then brightened by Grenache, given a little darker color and firmer tannins by Syrah. And then a little bit of the spice from Cunois. And uh, interestingly, you can age these wines. You sure can. Um, these are, again, our pick of the most age-worthy lots from the vintage. But uh, we have examples back in our library going going two full decades back to the beginning. And those are still... Those are still shining. So you don't need to age them, but uh, you absolutely could for up to a couple decades if you wanted. Well, the continent's awaking uh, sort of after this pandemic. We hope it's after the pandemic. Can people visit uh, the property and, and uh, explore it for themselves? For sure. It's, I, I think Paso is a really wonderful place to visit. And we try to make sure that when people come out to Tablas Creek, they get a real sense of kind of how we've translated the, the south of France here. So you can probably see olive trees over my shoulder and it's, it's, a, it's a lovely spot to visit. Jason, thanks so much for joining us today and, and uh, uh, giving us the story, a little background on the Esprit de Tablas wines, both the red and the white available uh, in uh, Canada that they should check out, buy, drink, cellar, hold, have fun with. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate you inviting me. May is Premium California Wine Month in BC liquor stores. Check out gizmondionwine.com for a full list of wines and select winemaker interviews. Thanks for watching.